gentlemen, put your hands together for Ali Abhat, who will kickstart our show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs. We're here to celebrate the 20th anniversary of a film I grew up on, Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. I was six years old when Kuch Kuch Hota Hai released. It still is one of my most sweetest film watching memories. I was so enamored by the colors, the music, the clothes, and just the world of Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. It made me believe that the only sport was the polo sport. And the only gap in life was the one which we wore on our sweatshirt. It was sure a fantasy world, but I was so happy to live in it. I was six and impressionable and also awestruck by what I saw. So I decided to contribute in my own tiny way. I cut my hair, just like Kajol, and insisted on buying every available hairband that Linking Road possibly had. And let me add, I was not alone. All the girls in school were doing the exact same thing. It was a sea of bad bob cuts and alarmingly tacky hairbands. Manish Malhotra may have cringed at the sight, but we were a happy bunch of Anjali wannabes. Books shape our minds, but films shape our souls. Kuch Kuch Hota Hai will always be that film that made me believe in the strength of first love, the progressiveness of platonic friendships, and the importance of finding your soulmate. Yes, yes, this is all sounding like a Hallmark card or a cheesy chicken soup for the soul, but what the heck? It's Kuch Kuch Hota Hai, and it's my childhood, and it's the millennial pop culture bible. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, let's go down memory lane. Let's fall in love all over again. Good evening, everyone. Well, uh, very happy to be here. Um, I was 13 when I saw Kuch Kuch Hota Hai for the first time. Uh, in a theater in Delhi amongst whistles and claps. And then I saw Shah Rukh Khan, his uber cool sporty look, you know, the oversized jumpers, uh, skin fitted t-shirts, uh, and, that, and that cool chain that we all thought uh, ki it's very innovative, all thanks to Manish. Uh, that day, I realized two things. One, that my mom is dressing me all wrong. And the other, that uh, my school was clearly not as happening as a Kuch Kuch Hota as St. Xavier's. Of course, much later, I realized that that was what I saw was a product of Karan Johar's <coughs> impossible imagination by the maverick Manish Malhotra. Uh, and yeah, all thanks to that. Karan, you, you shattered my dreams of a college life forever. I looked, for, I looked tirelessly for a colorful campus, for hip and cool lockers, for girls dressed like Rani Mukherjee, <laughs> and buddies like, <laughs> buddies like Karjal who played basketball like a star. And of course, the SRK factor I was trying to embody in my own Delhi boy way. Sadly, my efforts, <laughs> sadly, my efforts were not realized, but my dreams were. I remember walking into Dhamma Productions and pinching myself. This Delhi boy had found a new home and a new family. Thank you, Karan. Thank you, Hiran Auntie, for all the love. Thank you, Karan, for the dreams. And uh, thank you for Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. From the pins of Punjab to the gullies of South Hall in London, everyone has a deep memory of the music of Kuch Kuch Hota Hai, including myself. I am a fanboy of the songs of the 90s, and at the risk of being judged, Nadeem Shavan have always topped my playlist. But Kuch Kuch Hota Hai was something else. From the Shadi song to the college friendship song, from the eternal romantic melody to the rustic folk heartbreak song, this musical menu has every available dish. Each song will make you let's nacho. The girls in the film make you go chul. And Shah Rukh, sir, what do I say about you? Hoor the skinniya tarifa chai diya then. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everyone. And we can't start this evening without doing this. <laughs> Sorry, we had to. So a few weeks ago, I shot for my first ever episode of Coffee with Karan. And one of the first rapid fire questions he asked me was, uh, what's one Bollywood film you're embarrassed to have not watched? And I said, kuch kuch hota hai. And everyone gasped in disbelief. But then I saw it a few weeks later. And I realized that every film that I've seen and loved as um, a millennial Indian cinema lover, I could trace things back to this film. And it's a film that completely warrants a celebration like today. This film, kuch kuch hota hai, it came together beautifully uh, because of many, many forces. 
um, forces of cinematography, music, art direction, costume, writing, and of course, uh, its lead performances. Uh, the celebrated cast comprises of sensations like Shah Rukh Khan sir, um, Kajol ma'am, Rani Mukherjee ji, and of course, Salman Khan sir. Um, and uh, they've won the hearts of millions of people across the world with this film. But uh, there were other forces that stood tall with them in this narrative. Sana as little Anjali, Parzan Dastur as the cutest and the most adorable silent Sardar boy, Anupam ji, Archana ji, Farida ji, Himani ji, and Johnny sir. Um, all of them added so much quirk and character to this film with their colorful personalities and added the, to the magic of Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. From comic timing to the emotional bandwidth, these actors, they cover the entire gamut with excellence and experience. <laughs>